friends welcome to storage automation campus this is Gaurav here uh, in this video I am going to show you how to generate uh, the snap mirror um, relationship information using the on tap API so uh, let's say if you want to generate the list of snap mirror relationship and uh, you want to uh, get different uh, parameters out of that for example you want to see what is the st status of the relation what is the source and destination of the relation uh, what was the uh, previous schedule type and um, all different if information mirror state and all that stuff so if you want to uh, check that out uh, and and you want to use the on tap api for this purpose so this video is going to help you there so uh, let's start uh, with this uh, in the cluster context API we are going to use the snap mirror uh, get iter API for this purpose and uh, if you uh, uh, just go to Z Explorer and if you get this API and if you remove uh, rest of the stuff rest of the parameter if, uh, whatever like we are doing in the previous videos and uh, you get this code so um, as like other videos in this case also what i have done is i have copied uh, uh, this complete code and i have added some extra stuff also in this some extra um, code also in this so um, yeah, let me um, show you uh, what exactly we are doing uh, there are some of the lines which i am going to escape and i will explain you later what those lines are for but uh, just to start you can see these are this is this portion is something where it is important uh, importing different libraries uh, this is the portion where uh, we are setting up a cluster connection with the cluster uh, this is the api what we are calling and um, we as you know like using xml to dict as i discussed in my previous videos using xml to dict i am going to convert uh, this xml um, output from xml to json output and once it is converted from xml to json i can use it as a, a python dictionary so uh, this variable jl uh, will have a uh, output as a python dictionary so i am uh, saving that output in jl variable then I access this JL variable uh, out here. So if we go back here and um, okay, let me try to connect. seems like it is going to take time I don't want to waste your time in this until it is getting connected I will come back here and I will do one thing I will make this I will comment it out the whole thing and we will say print we are going to print the XML output and the, re uh, the reason why I want to print it I want to show you how the XML output looks like and what are the uh, keywords you need to take from there so you can see uh, this is the XML output this is how it looks like and it starts with uh, results then attribute list and then snap mirror info so this will be converted as your um, dictionary keys so I am taking you can see here that I am taking results attribute list and snap mirror info uh, are the which are my um, dictionary keys so let me put it back so using these keys I am going to get re remaining parameter info information so you you get all this bunch of detail uh, out of this uh, if you run it uh, without any uh, filter or anything 
so uh, out of this bunch of list uh, i i am looking whatever i need you can choose whatever you need based on your requirement but i i am going to show you um, the source v server a uh, source volume destination v server destination volume and um, uh, last transfer type and uh, snap mirror uh, state so this information should be printed let me save this and let me try to run this code one more time for you so you can see uh, uh, now i can print uh, the snap mirror information this is my snap uh, uh, this is my v server this is the uh, source volume this is destination v server destination volume and the snap mirror type is initialized last schedule was initialized and current status is broken off so uh, mirror state is broken off <clears throat> so this is how you can print it and uh, uh, it is it is easy to print it this way you can generate it there are option that you can use <clears throat> the python print command and you can have a pipe or co uh, comma in between and save the output um, uh, in a csv file and you can generate a complete csv file out of that so it is up to you how you want to take it you want to mail it then you probably may need to have a python mail module uh, in this script using which you can create the csv file and then you can mail that csv file wherever you want but um, uh, in this uh, course or in this uh, tutorial on in this video i am not going to discuss about that so <clears throat> rather i am going to show you something uh, very um, good um, one of the good library which i generally like in python and especially if i just need to print it in uh, the linux environment and uh, that is called uh, python a pretty uh, that is called pretty uh, pretty table so if you go to internet and if you search for uh, pretty table you will see uh, this link which is i think first link yeah so just uh, go to uh, internet and search for python pretty table and you will see this link over here just go go through this uh, documentation and uh, if you will read about this you will know how to install a uh, pretty table how to use how to build the header of the table how to align the table uh, data in the table how to add rows in the table so so basically your table looks something like this so uh, to get this data what we are getting here in some sensible format uh, on the screen i am using pretty table and i will show you how it works so i will comment it out i have commented out the print statement and i am going to use this pretty table over here so what i have done is i have imported the pretty table and i have created the header for the pretty table and this header in this header i have specified all this uh, information what in the header should be which basically uh, tells that what the column is going to be then <clears throat> i am adding a row different rows in the pretty table so basically uh, our table can be generated and uh, uh, i am saying that align alignment of the data which is coming in the rows should be on the left side and then i am printing that table so let's see how it works So you can see uh, after using the pretty table I can get uh, this kind of table over here uh, I can separately see uh, the uh, header and header gives me pr pretty much in good information like uh, what the column means is this is source v server uh, destination v server mirror state and all those that stuff and I have added uh, different rows in here and I have uh, three different relationship um, uh, and this is the status of those relationship so basically uh, this uh, row number 33 over here this one basically is adding these rows um, alignment is telling that it need to be on the left hand side alignment of the data should be on the left hand side on the row number seven over here is basically we are using to build this header so this is how you can use pretty table so um, as i always say uh, there are um, different ways to generate um, or there are different ways to program anything 
it's up to you how you want to program it you can program it um, uh, using pretty table you can program it um, in a way where you want to send this report as a csv file in a mail you can program it to generate uh, this file uh, and store it somewhere and then present in a web interface using the python flask um, um, so uh, there are multiple ways to do perform the same thing it all depends how you want to use it so uh, that's all for this video uh, so keep watching keep learning and also don't forget to subscribe this channel thank you everyone